In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a location overhead using Google Maps and Preview. So we're, we're in Google. So let's just go ahead and try to find a location as an example. So we're going to go to downtown Los Angeles. <clears throat> let's go ahead and click over here. So we're going to find our location. Let's say that our location is the last bookstore, right? I'm going to click satellite view here. Close this. Zoom in. Okay, let's say we're filming at the last bookstore, right? And then our parking that we've secured a week or two before is going to be at this Paragon parking lot right here. So we know that we need this much space for the map, right? Might be able to zoom in just a tad, but then we lose the parking lot, so we're gonna zoom out a little bit more. Okay, I like that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a screenshot. So we're gonna click Shift Command 3 if you're a Mac, and then we're gonna open that screenshot. We'll click here. Click into preview. Okay, so now we have the screenshot. We're gonna do some editing. So let's click this little edit button here. Okay, now first thing I like to do is go ahead and crop it. So we're gonna find the area we like. Okay, so we have the last bookstore here. We have the Paragon Parking here. I don't need all this extra room, so I'm going to trim it a little bit more. And then we're going to click Enter. Actually, we're going to click Crop. Okay. So we have our canvas, essentially. So we can come over here, and we can draw boxes and lines. Uh, because everything's kind of an angle, we're going to draw lines instead. So I click the line, I'm going to click green, and make this green. Okay, there's our first line. So what I'm going to do is come in here, we're going to draw a little box, like so. Because unfortunately, you cannot shift a box in preview. Now, you can in other programs, but for this purpose. We are drawing lines. Okay, so we have the set. So let's go ahead and put a little set. We'll do set. We're going to write set here, like so. Maybe make the font a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, that looks nice. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the parking lot. So let's go over here. We'll add some more lines. There's our crew parking. So we'll come in here, we're going to add a little crew parking. We'll just call it base camp slash crew parking. Love it. See how bright that is? Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is, is try to outline where we've permitted trucks to park on the street. So we're coming here, and um, for this purpose, we're going to pretend that we went ahead and permitted over here on South Broadway. And we'll just pick a different color. We'll call it orange. And we've only permitted this side. So we'll, we'll, we'll say, 
Oh, we'll say working trucks. Like so. Um, so the other thing we might want to add in here would be the entrance to base camp. So let's pretend that the entrance is off 4th Street. And so we can draw a little arrow. We could make it a different color if we wanted to. Um, Okay, so we have our set, we have the base camp, group parking, we have working trucks. Um, one question might be, what's the best way from base camp to set? So we could draw some more arrows, and um, because technically you could walk to it. So we'll just say, hey, the easiest way is this way, All right? So I like to play with the different colors and font treatments come in here we can fix that now sometimes you might want to go ahead and put an address and in that instance we're going to come in here and just duplicate one of these guys and let's just say it's one two three four main street for fun now you don't need the full address because that will be in the call sheet email but if you wanted to just for clarity, we could even change the background again. Um, you could do the same with crew parking. So now that I've drawn my little diagram here, um, we can go back and crop more of it because we're not using all this space here and we're not using this. So I come in here and just make it more square. It'll crop it like so. And that is how you make an overhead for your location department. And this can be used in call sheet emails, all kinds of things. And um, what, when you're done, we're going to go to File, Export as PDF, or you can export as a JPEG. Thanks for watching.